Hey trainers, welcome back. You're with Peter City Gym and uh, we're going to go ahead and carry on with our run through of Shining Pearl today. I'm going to try and post one of these every couple of days. Oh, there we go. Um, just to make sure that we got, uh, you know, content for you guys to watch while it's still nice and new and fresh. So this guy's going to show us where the gym is. Our first ever gym battle. Huh? There's someone there. What are you doing there, Luke? Huh? Oh, it's you, Jim. You finally got here. You slow like always. You're so slow, the gym leader's long gone now. He said he had to go... Uh, oh, yeah, the Orberg mine. I got my badge already, so it's no big deal to me, but... Okay. Well, let's go ahead and look around town. What's this person got to say? There are a lot of different TMs. It's tricky trying to decide which Pokemon should learn what moves. Yeah, I guess so. Wow. What do we got up here? Route 207. Can't go up there because we don't have a bike yet. Let's see if we can grab this. A Pokeball. Wow, look at the berry bushes. They actually look really cool. Ooh. Another Geodude. So hopefully today we should get our first gym badge. We'll go ahead and, and make that the uh, oops, make that the goal for the episode. Now this Geo dude cannot sleep. Ugh. Well, at least we know that it doesn't have sturdy. I like the weather effects for Sandstorm. Looks really cool. Alright, give me all of your energy. Okay, well, you dude fainted. Okay, so I'm assuming that we're going to be seeing a lot more of those guys around, because, you know, Warburg Mine. Let's go ahead and run down this way. Uh-oh. Man, I'm just not having any luck. I wonder if this one has sturdy... I think out of abilities to uh, to fight against, Sturdy is probably my least favorite. Just it's not even a difficult ability to uh, to deal with, but it does take extra time and an extra PP for a move. So you know, it's just kind of like, well, I don't really, I don't really care for that. It's always just kind of aggravating. All right. So we're going to go down to the mine, which should be in the southern part of the town. Not this not this area, though. Wow. Oh. And I actually didn't mean to do that, but I guess now that we're here, might as well take a look around. Hello, welcome to the Orberg Mining Museum. Thank you. I love her hair color. Hello, hello, how are you? I study Pokemon fossils. Me, right here and now. On the verge of a breakthrough, I am to achieve extraction from fossils. From fossils, I could extract Pokemon. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. I mean, sure. Whoa. Uh -oh. I mean, I don't know why he has to work so hard. They've been doing this in Cinnabar for, oh, 25 years or so. How about that? Orberg mine extends under the seafloor. What the heck? This giant thing here. Any of these evolution stones? How coal is made, part one. At a time long before history, vegetative matter was swept along by rain and rivers. It came to be buried under the ground. The buried plant matter was forced ever deeper underground due to tremors and fissures caused by the shifting land masses. Hmm. Okay. Deep underground, the plant matter was subjected to heavy pressure and the heat of magma. It generally... It turned into coal. Wow. I, I can't read today, I guess. Okay, well, that was very interesting. Now let's carry on with the story. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow, look at the coal drifting upwards on these conveyors. That's so neat. X defense. Okay, that'll get us some money later. I never really use those, uh, those single-use battle items. Everyone who works in the coal mine keeps their own Pokemon with them. You may be challenged to battles. Ha ha ha! Alright. 
They were Pokemon that looked just like rocks. They surprised me. Yes. Yes, there are Pokemon that look just like rocks, and they're very surprising. Okay. Ooh. Okay, well, there's Machop here. What you doing? I met these Machop on Route 207. They've now become my most trusted partners. That's cool. I'm going to let you in on a secret. I snuck my Pokemon to work. Worker Mason. Okay. Go, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. That did a lot less than I would have liked. Okay. Oh, this guy's just using Leer over and over again. So is it just me, guys, or is the AI in this game just, like, super gentle? Like, <laughs> I don't feel like uh, they're battling to their fullest potential. Wow, for having two Leers, that's, uh, that's a lot less than I was expecting it to do. Okay. Oof. Oh no! We are out! I definitely should have gone to the Pokemon Center. Wow, that was an oversight. Okay, Newt Newt. Let's go. I think uh, Buddy will go up a level with this battle anyway, so... Not too bad that we have to switch out to Newt Newt. So I remembered, uh, actually, after talking about Abra yesterday, there was one instance where I used one, and that was in my uh, my second run through of uh, Fire Red. Um, so yeah, actually, that, that little little incorrect there. I got my own uh, lore wrong. Um, I have used Abra before. It was in Fire Red. Uh, I named him Dobby because uh, you know Harry Potter was a was a big thing at the time. Let's go ahead and we'll go out and we'll heal up. Uh, Harry Potter was a was a really big thing at a, at the time. Uh, I had just started reading the uh, the Harry Potter books. They'd been out for a while, uh, but I just started reading them. And of course, uh, you know that's not the that's not the greatest thing nowadays, uh, Harry Potter. But uh, you know, back in the day, it was it was a lot less problematic. Okay, new new. Let's go. Wow, it's a fast geo, dude. Oh, it's got sturdy. I mean, it's a pretty good geo, dude. Let's. You know what? We're not gonna use him on the team, but. Uh, Let's catch him. Why not? All right. Geodude was caught. Geodude's data will be added to the Pokedex. It is impossible to distinguish from rocks. It slams against others in contents of uh, contests of toughness. So. I don't know about uh, impossible to distinguish from rocks, but we're just going to go ahead and call it camo. Camouflage. Uh, well, no. Let's go ahead and uh, call it hiding. Oh, God. I played... Uh, on my secondary account a little bit yesterday using the uh, the pro controller that I have synced up to a different switch in the house and uh, so much easier to enter names and stuff than these uh, than the the wireless joy cons because of course I'm playing this on the the TV right now I really just need to get uh, my pro controller synced up to this switch too but no hurry
trying to get uh, as many levels on both of these guys as I can before we, we tackle the gym. This isn't a Nuzlocke or anything, so if somebody faints, it's not like they're quote-unquote dead. But, uh, you know. Still don't want to lose anybody if I can help it. Okay. Newt Newt is at level 13. Got to get some Everstones for these guys, because it's going to be annoying to uh, have to keep hitting... B every time we try and, you know, every time they try and evolve, because, uh, again, uh, just in case anybody wasn't aware, we are not evolving until after the Elite Four. We're gonna go ahead and tackle the most powerful trainers in the Sinnoh region with a team of actual infants, so everybody's gonna have to be fairly overleveled <laughs> if we want even a remote chance to do that, because I've heard that the, uh, the Elite Four in this game is actually pretty powerful. That they use, you know, some uh, some strategy, and they have items and all that good stuff. So we'll see. Oh, and good news on the team building front, by the way. Uh, my wife has indeed caught us a Gliger. Um, gave it a nickname as per my instructions, and ready to trade it in when we get to an appropriate level. The one thing that I would say is that it is level 29. Um, so obviously at this point of the game, it is not going to respond to us whatsoever, and that's not going to be a particularly fun thing to watch. So, uh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna worry about that, but we'll bring it in, you know, later on when we have, uh, when we have our levels kind of stacked up appropriately. Should have boxed hiding actually. Okay. Well, oh my goodness. Sure is Geodudes in here. Oh my god, Buddy is so cute. I think Geodude's like the new Zubat. I don't think I've encountered one single Zubat. Uh, in here. I think the only one that I've really seen was, uh... I know a trainer had one. So... That'll probably be the thumbnail for this episode. A bunch of Geodudes stacked up, one on top of the other. Oh, there we go. Oh, cool, a potion. Always useful. Ah, there we go, there's Rourke. What's up, Rourke? Okay, Rock Smash, perfect. Fallen Boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first, and that would be me. Alrighty, Rourke. Let's see, who else wants to fight me? Fine, alrighty then, just a quick battle on my break. Worker Colin. Buddy is cleaning up. Uh, yeah, no, we'll keep our current Pokemon. Look at this. It's epic. Little Rosebud taking on a giant rock snake. Probably has a higher t attack stat than the uh, the Rock Snake. I'd have to check that out, but uh, I there was a, a funny little meme where it's like, uh, you know, Giant Rock Snake is not as strong as a flower, uh, meaning Bellsprout, because Bellsprout actually has a higher base attack than Onyx. So, would not have expected that. Okay, something else to sell, because again, I don't mess around with escape ropes. Okay. All right, so we've beaten everybody in the Orberg mine, I believe. Let's go ahead, heal up. I'm gonna uh, box hiding. 
because we really don't need... Uh oh! We really don't need a Geodude. Man, see what I mean about Sturdy? It's just so aggravating, because now you have to use a whole other Absorb. It'd be cool if it was like a Mystery Dungeon, where you got like a little kind of generic attack that doesn't require PP, that just does like a very, very, very limited amount of damage. Um, but in situations like this, it would be, you know, preferable to using a uh, an entirely new... an entirely new move. I mean, I guess that would take some of the challenge and strategy and whatnot out of it, but, you know, it'd make it easier. Alright. Okay, folks, time to get that first gym badge. Thank you, Nurse Joy. Let's go ahead and bench hiding. Someone's PC. Move, and... Oh, I like how it's kind of divided up into squares. That looks really cool. What other... Uh, what, what other ones do we have? Okay, so just kind of the standard uh, Pokemon box backgrounds. I always like this one the best. It's so pretty. Okay. Oh, dang. That is that new? I don't recall ever having seen this one before. That's awesome. Alright. Let's go. Nobody's. We are logging off. Okay, whoop, not this way. There's the gym. Okay, let's go. It's kind of a bummer because the, uh, the youngsters don't have any uh, Pokemon on their shirts. A lot of the, uh, the youngsters from prior generations actually have uh, little little Pokemon symbols on their shirts, like either uh, like a Weedle or um, there's Sableye on another one as well, I think, in, uh, in Oras. Uh, they have Sableye on their shirt, so cute! These guys are just plain red, so... Jonathan! I don't think I've ever seen it spelled like that. Okay. I feel like Buddy's going to be able to take out this whole gym single-handedly, which is impressive because he doesn't have hands. Okay, Jonathan. Hmm, this little guy. Youngster Darius! Ah, that's cool! I have a, a really good friend called Darius. So, if you're watching Darius, sorry I'm about to beat your in-game counterpart. Ooh, just about up a level. Uh, oh wow, another Onyx, okay. Okay, Grumpy Snake, let's go. Steelix is cool. I've never actually used a uh, an Onyx or a Steelix in a playthrough either. So, maybe that'll be uh, another one to add to a, a future team. Just for fun. Ah, this is humiliating, he says. Sorry, buddy. Okay, gym leader time. Welcome. This is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. 
I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. I like Rourke's design. Look at that hair wobble. Like, is there... Man, are there fans running? Is this like a Fabio thing where he has to have a fan pointed at him at all times? Look at that hair. Okay. Ooh. Not quite enough to one-shot. Defense curl is gonna do nothing. Let's go. Okay, they're both a level 14. I like that. Uh, note another Onyx. Okay. If I remember rightly, doesn't he have a Kranidos for his last Pokemon? Which, uh, that'll be another one that I'll have to move in from my, uh, my wife's game. Because I'm pretty sure that Kranidos is, uh, is Diamond only. If I remember rightly, I, I might not be. It's been a while, but uh, I remember my first run through on Pearl. Oh, potion! Just a regular potion? Um, I remember my first run through on Pearl. I had a little shield on, um, so. Slap. Okay. And you're done. Okay, Onyx Faints. Perfect. Uh, yep, there we go. Think you can take down the next Pokemon like you did the other ones? Probably. I'd like to think so. Oh, did you see that? Uh, he must have stickers on his Pokeball. That's how you know that this uh, this Pokemon is whoa hello is his favorite because he's just he's just got stickers for this guy. Ooh. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get another one off. E oh no, poor buddy. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you could live one more. I guess not. Man, maybe I should have leveled up a little bit. Uh, I don't even know what what level is his. Uh, oh no, the stones. Okay, so we're the exact same level. So this should should be okay. Just so long as he doesn't get the flinch. Ooh, yeah. Uh, of course he did. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, take care of uh, Newt Newt here. Sorry, buddy. Oh dang, I don't know if we're going to be able to win this one, guys. We may we may actually get knocked out. <sighs> we did. Oh dang. One guys, we may we may actually get knocked out. Maybe I should have kept Geo dude in the uh, in the party. Wow. Wow, guys. I apologize. That's terrible. So like I said, I think in the last episode, it's always kind of a, a weird one when you're filming or you're, you know, you're uh, recording, I guess, is, is the more correct term. Because I don't want to waste your guys' time uh, by showing you, you know, me beating up like 500 Geodudes just to, uh, you know, just to raise those levels. Um... But, having said that, we don't want to be under-leveled and you get to watch me just, like, lose to the first gym. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to do some training, and I will see you guys in a little bit. I want to get at least, like, another two levels on either, each one of these guys. There 
if it takes too long, maybe I'll just uh, cut the footage out or like speed it up. I do a lot of that on my uh, my Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke, which is the other gameplay video series that I'm putting up right now. Hopefully you guys are enjoying that. I am, it's a fun game. As much as I enjoy, you know, this graphical style with the polygons and stuff, like, you can show a lot more expression uh, with these. Um, there's something about those sprite graphics which are just so charming, and I, I really do enjoy those a lot. But uh, anyway, on with the leveling. All right, let's go ahead and catch this Machop just cause. All right, let's go. I like how you still get points for catching. Okay, its muscles never cramp no matter how much it trains. It lives in the mountains away from humans. Not really, it's literally right next to the town. Uh, we are going to go ahead and call it Tony. Because, uh, Tony, Tony, ma chop, ah. I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm not good at names. Alright, I feel like we are... About ready to go ahead and take care of that gym. And I won't be a dummy this time. Uh oh, okay. Okay, let's go heal up. Try the gym one more time. My gosh. Uh. Okay. Let's go ahead and box Tony. All right. Okay, let's go give it another shot, guys. It's okay. Even uh, even Ash Ketchum lost his first gym battle, I think. I don't remember. He had a Pikachu. Probably he did. Okay. Hello, sir. Let's try this again, shall we? So this time, I think I'm going to use Charm on the, uh, on the Kranidos so that those headbutts don't do, you know, like a Almost a uh, half. Okay, there we go. All right, one down. Oh, critical hit. That's why. Nope, keep current Pokemon. Ah, yeah, Stealth Rock. That didn't help matters last time either. Oh, it's got Sturdy as well. Okay, uh, let's let's be very disrespectful and use Peck.
That's what you get for beating me the first time. No. Okay. Let's see. Still love those stickers. Okay, broke the mold. Oh, you know what? That's right. I was gonna use charm first. First move. Oh man. Let's see. No way. Not yet. Not giving up. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get off another. Oh, because of course. Yeah. Okay. So we are gonna get another one in. I wonder. Will it be? Will it be enough? I think so. I think using the potion ironically just doomed him. Ah, thank goodness. Okay, so we defeated Rourke. We got our first gym badge. What? That can't be. My buffed up Pokemon. This is embarrassing. No, trust me. I'm, I'm more embarrassed than you are. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. But that's the story. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you a gym badge since you've beaten me. The gym leader. Here's your official Pokemon League Cole badge. Alright guys, we got our first badge. Very exciting. You know, it's kind of funny. I wish that they would uh, acknowledge that I lost the first time. Like, there should be a, a little bit of different flavor text, like, hey, you know, you, you messed up the first shot, but you came at me and won in the end. Having that cold badge means that you can now use the hidden move Rock Smash from your poke edge. You should also take these, too. Okay, TM76, what is this? Stealth Rock. Okay, I, I don't really... Ooh, we get stickers. That's exciting. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that's right. The TMs break in this game. Okay, let's go heal up at the Pokemon Center, and that will be the end of the episode, I guess, guys. So I want to thank you for uh, spending some time with me today. Hopefully you you enjoyed watching me fall on my face. Uh, probably not the last time that I'll do so. Um, but uh, yeah. Hey. That's the name of the game. Especially when I'm trying to, uh, you know, keep things moving at a, at a brisk pace so thank you so much um i will see you guys in the next video take care bye